Hello, everyone. I would like to present my gratitude for the organization of this event. And I hope that it will be full of knowledge and research methods and results exchanged between all the participants. My name is Kamal El Badawi, PhD student from the Department of Geology, Faculty of Science Maria Marrakesh Qadiyad University. And my, participa my, my participation in this conference events will be by the subject of flash flood accessibility mapping using statistical methods and machine learning algorithms, uh, a case study of Tudra River, Morocco. Keywords are Central High Atlas, Natural Hazards, Flood Mapping, Tudra River, and uh, finally, Machine Learning. Uh, as an abstract, many of researchers have uh, produced natural hazard accessibility maps using different techniques, including the advanced machine learning algorithms and uh, probability methods. And uh, by the way, factors like uh, slab aspect, rainfall, land cover, ethology, elevation, and uh, distance from road or distance from river are recommended to understand the mechanism of floods. Globally, in natural hazard uh, or natural risks analysis, the quality of the UZ data has a significant role in the results and will be achieved if this UZ data uh, was drawn from a wide range and adequate parameters. We focus in our uh, work on generating accessibility maps beginning from uh, firstly uh, from floods and victory and uh, considering uh, the causal factors to assess the flood series accessibility in our case study which is to the river watershed the inventory was created using flood uh, field works satellite images and uh, also uh, historical uh, historical floods events. So 100, 100 uh, selected, uh, 100 floods location were mapped. 70% of the data were randomly named as terrain data, while the remaining 30% were selected for validating the model. And this was achieved uh, by using uh, the statistical methods, three statistical methods, which are frequency ratio model, logistic regression, the artificial network, and also by applying three advanced supervised machine learning algorithms, uh, which are canaris number, random forest, and extreme gradient bosing, incorporating uh, a JS and air uh, programming. Uh, so uh, as a production to uh, produce natural hazard accessibility maps, as you know, by the contribution of this uh, GIS tools or software, over the past year, diverse models have been developed and they can be classified into three or four categories. And uh, they are high hybrid methods, statistical methods, expert or machine learning uh, methods. Each approach of these uh, methods varies in terms of, of predictive accuracy in input data or output uh, processes. Uh, so the study area is a part of a well-known touristic area in Morocco. It is located in a mountainous region of uh, Central High Atlas. Uh, it occupies the major part of north of uh, Tinger city. Tinger has uh, been uh, subjected to a number of major floods along the Tudra River, as you see here, and its tributaries, what Imedar, what Isham, and uh, the tributary of what is Gi as well as along seasonally flowing riverbeds. So the flood occurred, for example, in 2006, and uh, the latest one, uh, which occurred in uh, 2014, as examples had a caused massive uh, scale damage to the properties and agricultural uh, sector. We'll come back to this uh, figure. We see here the, the north, it's uh, Morocco, Morocco map, uh, located in the north, Western part of North of Africa. Uh, this uh, green ship uh, representing uh, the, uh, the big basin of Aris Basin. And to the east of this uh, big basin, we found our uh, sub basin uh, called Tudra River Catchment. So our modelization will be just in the northeast part of this catchment from the city of Tinere to the north. Uh, regarding uh, the slopes characteristic of the study area, the Tudra Valley 
as you see in this figure, appears larger in the downstream parts, whereas it becomes more entrenched uh, to the upstream region. This allows us to subdivide the basin into three domains based on the overall relief, a high mountainous domain, which includes high relief constituted by uh, liacic carbonate, uh, a second uh, intermediate domain characterized by a quite important reliefs corresponding to the health uh, of the, Cretish, uh, the, the Cretaceous uh, period, uh, but with less elevation comparing to the first one and the downstream part or downstream domain characterized by altitudinal depression occupied by uh, quaternary deposits and uh, what to the deposit also. So when the plain uh, of in this part and the, uh, to the other side are covered by sedimentary units of uh, Cenozoic uh, deposits, uh, specifically the Tafilalt uh, plain we found here and the oasis of Bulmima, Perkla and Ralil to the west part of our figures. This is uh, an EB profile from the north the, from the upstream to the downstream of our uh, catchment. We focus on, as I said, in the north part, uh, delimited by this red line, and this is the uh, evolution of our slope relief. This is some data of percentage for each classes regarding uh, the color and the slope degree uh, characterization, high, moderate, low, and very low. So the methods, is the application or the contribution of uh, uh, advanced machine learning uh, algorithms. And the aim of our study is to the flexibility of occurrence of floods into the basin. And to achieve these uh, methods or this uh, objective, a flood inverting map was created using uh, three, three uh, categories of data. The first was historical information about the floods in the, that area, satellites, imagery, and field work. And uh, the data we used are 100 landslides or 100 uh, floods were mapping, uh, of which 70% were randomly selected as train data, while the remaining 30% uh, were used for validating the model. The, I have here a, a, a mistake, it's 100 floods. Uh, I'm excused for this mistake. So the algorithms are three, three statistical methods, which are frequency ratio, logistic regression, and artificial network, and three supervised, uh, advanced supervised algorithms, camera number, random forest, and extreme gradient volume. Also, the software are R, R Studio, ArcMap, and QGIS. And uh, we use it on our programmation script code uh, developed by the professor Omar al which is who is uh, specialized in GIS and uh, remote sensing. So uh, this is the air voluntary uh, map, uh, which he, uh, is uh, separated into categories or two, uh, into two data. In red, it's the terrain data, 70%. And in yellow color, it's the testing data. This is the Tudra River and its tributary, and this is the basin limit. So, uh, um, excuse me, this anniversary map or historical flood events will get it through satellite image and field mission data collection. Data layer representing uh, conditional factors have a huge impact of the reality of flood security mapping. So, and uh, generally, according to uh, many authors, there are no uh, rules for selecting the population of this uh, training and testing data as used here for 70% for 10 data or 30% for uh, testing, like testing or validating data. Uh, this is the flow chart as presented, as presented in this figure. And uh, the methodology is in four steps. The first was locating the ancient flood location in the city area with creation of flood and water map. Uh, the second uh, step is choosing and classify the flood related variable with an uh, attached map for each variable based on the available data source. And the uh, third uh, step is the producing the flood uh, sensitivity map by applying the six uh, models of frequency ratio, logistic regression, and etc. And also, 
uh, by using and this by using ArcGIS as I said, ArcGIS and R Studio. Uh, these are the flux conditional factor, which are the ancient flux in the river were mapped using uh, landslide uh, landsat eight or images they are surveyed and historical events. From this database, 12 factors, as you see here, land views, aspect elevation, distance, roid, ethology, and et cetera, were, uh, were mapped. So, uh, and uh, were verified using directive operating tactical ROC, or AUC, area under curve. And regarding the results, uh, this is, uh, from the analysis of this coefficient for, for H factors, it can be observed that the factors land use, uh, land use and uh, uh, distance to rivers, rainfall, and lithology have an important role in occurrence of floods in the study area because uh, they all have positive coefficients, as you see here, for example. And uh, in the other hand, uh, however, Elevation aspect, curvature, distance to roads, in the VI, slab, and display I factors have negative effect on flooding or less uh, effects on flooding in our catchment, as they uh, all have negative coefficients value, as you see here. So, according to these uh, results, uh, we can see, uh, for example, this is this distribution of the area for each algorithm and, and statistical method uh, depending on the degree of risk. And this is uh, the, in the, the two uh, figures which we, we see here in percentage. The first one is the, uh, is the distribution of area. So according to this figure, it can be observed, observed that the method LR logistic regression shows that 12% of the total area was found to be of very low flexibility, the low and moderate flexibility zone represent respectively 22% uh, and 21%. Uh, meanwhile, the high and very accessible area are 22 uh, and 21% uh, of the total study area. The same for all the uh, methods we can uh, extract uh, the degree or the percentage of each of each uh, classes. Uh, this is the result uh, shown uh, in this figure. It's the flood flexibility map for our study area, depending on each uh, methods. We use three statistical methods. And above here, we see the three advanced supervised machine learning algorithms, extreme gradient Boston kind and RF, and this uh, these maps haven't any significant or uh, scientific value without the validation. And for the validation, we used uh, the under area curve, and we see here that it presents it presents many many uh, 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 many as as we see here, uh, it presents. Uh, the same, let's say it's present the same value, uh, an average of uh, 0 0.78 is the minimum and the maximum was 0 0.96%. Per, uh, percent. So the values obtained, obtained from the area curves of the FR, LR and INN, the three uh, first curves are respectively 0. Uh, 78, 082, and 080, uh, 88. So, and I, we can see that the value of the machine uh, learning algorithms has indicated a good accuracy level more than the other models. Uh, so, the accuracy achieved is acceptable, meaning that either of them is su uh, sufficient to be utilized for objective planning and flat disaster uh, preparedness. Flat security maps are, uh, uh, we can say that these flat security maps are usual uh, information uh, for planners and engineers to select proper uh, places to verify the progress, the products are, uh, or uh, the, we can see that these products are applicable as guide for land use management and disaster planning. Uh, 
Uh, the map obtained obtain from uh, uh, this Kainan can assemble in the land of forests looks like more accurate than the other maps. Accuracy for all the models uh, can be related uh, relatively similar. It is expected that this research paper will be uh, contribute baseline information toward the establishment of a uh, flood warning warning system for the study area for the study area and uh, also this these are some images of the last floods damage occurred in September 2014 into the river catchment which has uh, several damage to properties and and uh, agricultural area as you see in about these two images and as a conclusion we have introduced a conceptual framework of six basic methods for the flood security mapping into the river locating the south region of Morocco, which is important in terms of infrastructure development and land use management, because I think it helps to avoid the highly uh, susceptible zones through uh, suitable preventive measures and uh, mitigation uh, procedures. The, uh, the performance demonstrates that there was generally little differentiation in prediction performance between the method applied. In terms of validation results, all the produced uh, models show, uh, shows uh, reasonably, uh, reasonably good performance and the result also stated that the random forest and uh, the KN and the two bouts of uh, them has the best predictive uh, capability among the other models as uh, frequency ratio and uh, land, uh, logistic regression and artificial school network. And as a final uh, conclusion, uh, we can say that uh, flow security mapping with machine learning models provides prati uh, practical and accurate results for the prevention and uh, mitigation of future flooding in order to evaluate strategies to prevent the impact of floods. The developed model called be considered as a useful tool for the local authorities also serve as a available tool regarding development of planning processes and uh, the land use in area prone to floods into the river catchment in uh, district of the southeast of Morocco. Thank you. Merci.